when you have your table connected like this product calendar territories everything is connected to sales that's great you can analyze sales any which way you want but how do you analyze product based on calendar so this question I'm trying to answer a question that came in from Robert now he didn't describe it quite this way uh, maybe he has a SQL background so he was talking in terms of one-to-many relationships I don't often use that term, so I just simply say data lookup tables, and I do talk about many-to-many -many relationships, so I only use that uh, terminology when there's many-to-many -many involved. Uh, so by the way, guys, this is all covered inside my course. A lot of you have seen the Zero to Dashboard tutorial available on YouTube, but I definitely go deeper into relationships, and I do it, what I do to everything, I explain it in really simple terms. You've heard me say it before, my two best attributes, I'm dumb and I'm lazy. And that seems to work. So I break it down and I do go into many to many relationships and uh, how we can use those. So if you think about it, so uh, so you know what? Let me just show you the example. Let me show you what's going on. So uh, another thing, I hope, Robert, I got your question correctly. If not, we'll talk about what other avenues you have to, to get back to me. So what we're talking about here is product is connected to sales, great by relationship, calendar is connected to sales. And you've heard me say this before, by default, all your relationships should be single directional, not bi-directional. So the filtering must be, uh, this cross filter direction should be single by default. Now there are exceptions, but you should be very careful. You should be very, uh, uh, gosh, what's the word? Conscientious, Blah, you're right. You, uh, you should, yeah, it should be intentional. Oh yeah, I love that word. It should be very, very intentional when you turn on bi-directional. Don't turn it off like, Oh, things are not working. Let me see if I change it to bi-directional. Guys, please don't do that kind of stuff, all right? So, okay, so uh, so by default, we have one-directional filtering. So here is what we'd see. Now, of course, we can slice and dice sales by anything you want. Well, well yeah, I mean, you, you've seen those graphs before, so that makes sense. But when we define a subcategory count, right? And let's say, Let's say, uh, so this is simple distinct count product subcategory. Let me get rid of this recovered files. Uh, but now if we try to slice and dice something that has been defined here by this table, what do you think? What do you think is gonna happen? Well, let's find out. This is gonna happen. So subcategory, and if I drag in month, year from there, you can see it's, it's the same number. It's the repeating number pattern, which is almost always a red flag. Do you know when this is not a red flag? Ooh, cool, let me know in the comments. All right, cool, so so yeah, this is not working. I mean, you can look at it as a graph, you can look at it as a table. It's, it's just not working. It's just returning the same number all the time. And yeah, we, we can be reasonably confident, although this is AdventureWorks, that you know this is not right. Okay, cool, so how do we solve it? We solve it using the same many-to-many -many technique that I cover inside my course, many-to-many, uh, -many. and there are two ways to handle many-to-many -many relationships. So by the way, uh, you know, you can think of this as two one-to-many relationships, but guys, between product and calendar, there is a many-to-many -many relationship. And and sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna be brief here, but I do cover more inside my course. Like, what the heck does it mean, many-to-many? -many? Simply put, it means one product or one subcategory or whatever, one product could have been sold in multiple months, and each month you could have sold multiple products. That's it, you know, it's pretty simple. Uh, I like I like the example of ice cream flavors. Uh, shoot, I've forgotten that one now. Anyway, you get what I'm saying, right? So how do we fix it? I'm gonna use one of those approaches. So there are two approaches to fixing the many-to-many -many side, and actually one is demonstrated here. This is the one that I cover inside the course, which is using the bi-directional filtering. And again, this is, very intentional. Only when you have that scenario should you use it. In fact, here, I used something different. I used the other approach, which is using DAX, and I simply said, yep, calculate subcategory count, and I used the downhill table. And what that does is it forces that filter up. Again, sorry, I can't go into too much detail, but, uh, but that's one way to solve many to many. A lot more detail inside my course. Okay, so now you can see that it's not returning 38, and let's see this by, uh, oops, not not this one, by time, and this is our glorious AdventureWorks data, so mm, probably not like real data, but you can see that it's not the same number anymore, it is changing. So here, we're saying two, and then we started selling 17 different 
uh, subcategories. Now we can do more. We can, uh, the fun, fun part is that now that we have defined that measure, we're leveraging that, it actually activates not just calendar, but we can slice and dice by anything else as well, which is connected. So we can say, let me try this. Oh, subcategory by region. So we have that, and again, glorious for AdventureWorks data, but at least at least it's different for Central and so forth. And just as a test, of course, if you wanted to, you, if you wanted to actually see the categories, you can do that. And again, the magic of Power BI filtering, you can say, oh, Central, which eight subcategories? And look at that. These are the ones. And if you want it, you can show their sales as well. So guys, the enrollment to Learn Power BI program is open right now it's by invitation only so you if you do have the special invite if you've participated in one of my events then uh, i'd love to see you inside the course because yeah of course the training is there but then you also get to hang out with me in our private facebook group interact not just with me but all the other students i do facebook live inside that that way you can get a hold of me live and just ask me a question there of course you also have the option of signing up for the live q a calls where you can just dial in share your screen and all of that good stuff hey um i would love to see you inside the learn power bi family keep rocking man power on